Since 2008 and the great financial crash, whilst the mainstream economy has been in the doldrums, one part of the economy has been performing remarkably well, and that part is the cooperative sector. Here in the West Midlands, the cooperative economy has grown by 28%, and in this short film, we hope to give you a glimpse of how well the sector is performing. Good morning, sir. Good morning. We are the stores in our local communities. We like to serve our local communities. That's why we are here. Our customers are the most important reason that we are here. Well, I grew up with a co-op because my late grandfather was a shop manager after the war in South Birmingham. And uh, I was delighted when they opened a shop near to me and I was able to get my uh, dividend again. I had books and books of stamps when I was a boy, I remember. And uh, everything came from the co-op. The cooperative is an ethical retailer and we like to believe in these principles. We have our members at our hearts of everything we do along with our local community. Being a member means I'm a shareholder. I invested the whole pound in this company. Twice a year I get my dividend paid out and I get various vouchers to, to spend here and I get two or three free shops a year, which is great. I've worked for the co-op since I was 14, so it's quite a few years ago now. I really enjoy my job and I was never so proud as to be offered a new store here in Northfield. We've just been open for two years now. We've been very, very successful. We've got involved in our communities and our customers and we've listened to their needs and their wants and hopefully responded to them to give them great customer service. I have a fantastic team working for me, which has been recognised by Winning Store of the Year. On top of this, it's also a really exciting time for Midlands Cooperative as we've just won a really prestigious award, being Cooperative of the Year. And I think they have a nice presence in the community. It's nice to see a welcoming brand on the high street. Stop raining. Yes, I have. And because of our success, we as Midlands Cooperative Society are opening around 20 new stores in the Midlands area this year alone. The Co-op's strong brand and values are helping us grow new businesses on the high street. Very exciting times. These are exciting times for the cooperative. It does seem that uh, despite the recession, or maybe because of the recession, uh, people are seeing the strength in our values and coming to the cooperative businesses more than they have done for many years. One of the most exciting areas for us at the moment uh, where the whole trust thing really comes home to roost is in our development of childcare. We've now got 50 nurseries. Both my children, Charlie and Olivia, have been coming here for nearly six months. They come normally one day a week, but sometimes, depending on work patterns, it can be up to three days a week. You can't show greater trust than actually leaving probably your most precious uh, thing, your child, in the company of uh, other people, and uh, that's exactly what's happening Bye. right across this country. It's a good place for your children to come. You can trust the people here. The facilities here in Kidderminster are the best we have so that we can actually develop the children so they can achieve their maximum potential and are ready for the next stage of their lives. And my two-year-old, every time I pick her up, says, can we come back again next week, Daddy? So I must be doing something right. The other significant development for the movement, but particularly for Mid-Counties Co-op, has been our entry into the energy marketplace. We are a licensed energy seller, electricity and gas. We already have 150,000 customers. And again, it's about people trusting the brand. They've had years of not trusting their present suppliers, and they're coming to us in droves. This phenomenal success demonstrates the Co-op's ability to reach out and reveal new markets. So about five and a half years ago, we realised that there was a gap in the market in the Coventry area to service the Asian families for funeral services. And what we decided to do was build a purpose-built, bespoke funeral home. We've got a funeral home that not only deals with Asian funeral services, but we also have funeral services from all nationalities, all cultures, all religions. We mainly deal with Sikh and the Hindu families. It's a really difficult time or sad time for anybody's life when they you know, lost their loved ones, families, or, and uh, this is the first time I come here to funeral directors and uh, I'm quite like happy with the services they provided and the help I got and this sort of help you need in your hardest or sad time. These are the coffin on display. 
We've got two very large arrangement rooms. We've also got a dedicated wash facility where families can come in and carry out the religious wash and dress of the deceased. Is it possible to make that her sign our yeah. religious symbol? Yes, we can do, provide that one. I am from Ravidasya faith and um, I'm really pleased that whatever my requirement, my religious requirements are, they provide that as well. This is the picture of our Guruji and Guru Satguru Ravidas Ji Maharaj. I asked the manager if he can provide the, our religious symbol as well and he's happy to do that. So I'm pleased with that service as well. So the only thing I can say, the cooperative funeral you know, director services, they're doing like good helping people in, like, in their sad times. We're really proud of what we've achieved here. We're serving a real need in the community, and giving every family a, a unique funeral service because that is, at the end of the day, soft. what everyone deserves, a unique tribute to a unique person. As well as serving people at the end of their life, Corps are helping people with new beginnings. BCRS was set up as the Black Country Reinvestment Society as a cooperative in uh, 2002 to provide access to finance for small businesses loans up to £50,000. We've now increased our loan size to £100,000. Uh, we do about 120 or so businesses each year. I decided five years ago when I got made redundant from my marketing job that I'd quite like to make something that I would buy at the supermarket that would mean I could go in and buy the ingredients to make a dish without having to do all the various bits of shopping. The banks weren't particularly keen on, on giving us any money so we went to BCRS and they thought it was a great idea and were happy to give us the money. In 2008 when the credit crunch struck we went from lending about half a million a year to lending three million pound last year and we're on target to lend about five million this year. It meant that we could buy a spice grinder, we could take on a couple of members of part-time staff. We wouldn't be here without BCRS, we wouldn't be here without their money. They give us lots of help and advice as well, which goes hand in hand with the money, but without them, Hairsmore wouldn't exist. The only reason for setting up a cooperative is to have impact. Well, the impact that we wanted to have is we wanted to back enterprising people who got something about them that could build a business. Because we knew as they did that, they wouldn't be able to do it on their own. As they got more and more successful, they'd have to employ people. So the economic impact is what we're looking for, job creation, but also we know the money that we lend on to these small companies in the West Midlands. That money spent in the local economy, it's recycled. It doesn't go to Tokyo, to New York and to London. It actually gets spent locally. So that's the impact we're looking for. And that's what we've been very successful in doing. It's just like going to a local Indian restaurant. Mm. Co-ops are keeping people warm on the inside and on the outside while insulating their homes. We focus on helping people in our local community with energy issues. With energy costs rising, all of us need to look at the costs. And the other thing is it's going to be better in the long term for the environment. This house has been covered with a layer of insulation with a render on the top. It does protrude a little way out about 100 mil and this should help keep the residents warm throughout the winter and cut their bills too. There is an awful lot of old housing stock in the country without any insulation. I can only see being of a benefit to people. We're working with the Energy Saving Cooperative because they have the capacity to set up a really good supply chain that ensures quality of installation and the best possible price for the customer. Knowing that the cooperative movement and various cooperative groups were involved gave us the confidence to go ahead. We're big believers in the ethos of the cooperative movement. We shop with a co-op, energy with a co-op, we bank with a co-op. If it's cooperative, we will do it if we can. As you step back, you get the full effect of it and how wonderful it is. All generations are getting behind the cooperative movement and some are now inspired to start their own. What's great about cooperatives is that everyone gets a, an equal say in what happens, but also that there's a, a feel of community, so people sort of come up here and just feel that they can get involved um, in the shop rather than leaving it to the people that are doing it. I think it's a sort of more friendly atmosphere to operate in and sort of gives people an idea of what businesses could be like in an ideal world. In the initial stages, what they really needed was to be able to shape their idea further and to refine it so that they could actually create a cooperative that would be sustainable as well as create the community benefit that they were seeking to create. I've got uh, the receipts. The Green Bike Project is a volunteer-run um, organisation. So CWA helped us through um, the process of incorporation and also of our financial forecasting, which we used to uh, secure a £9,000 grant from Big Lottery Fund. 
We're sort of updating our website and we've um, also been up to Leeds and got 7,000 of these printed. We are a full service business agency. We help clients from the time when they have an idea at very inception stage right up to time when they may seek to expand an existing cooperative or an existing social enterprise. Starting up like this is, uh, is really challenging, but um, it gives you a lot of opportunities to develop, develop a broad skill set and work with you know, lots of people. Since, since starting cooperatives, we've, um, we've done the bike project, we've been involved in setting up a housing club as well, because there's so many sort of like, links I think you get from working cooperatively as, as opposed to starting up your own sort of enterprise. There are many more social enterprises now and cooperatives now compared to last sort of five or six years. And it's very encouraging for us as an agency. These are exciting times for the Cooperative Development Agency and the cooperative movement in general. Maybe people trust the co-op brand a little more. To be part of such a success is a fantastic feeling. The ethical thing about cooperatives are, are true. People really do care about you. It's not just all about the business. It's all about what they can do for you. If all businesses were run the same as the cooperative movement, the country would be in a much better state.